Welcome back. As a former Miss USA and Miss Texas USA, I know firsthand the commitment it takes to not only prepare for a pageant, but to represent your state and country as well. Caroline Carruthers is halfway there, winning the Miss Texas 2016 competition this past July. She took some time out of her busy schedule to share her experiences as she goes from one crown to the hope of another. Okay, so for those of you that know me and know anything about my background, you're gonna realize that I am absolutely giddy about our next guest. It's Caroline Carruthers, Miss Texas 2016. Caroline, so good to see you. Thank you so much for having me. So I have so much I wanna to talk to you about, so we're gonna get right into it. Um, first of all, tell us about that moment you were crowned Miss Texas, how it felt, what was going through your mind. So many things. Well, first of all, only being 20 years old, I was like, oh my goodness, this is already crazy. I can't believe what a whirlwind it's gonna be and it really kind of throws your world upside down and your whole life flips it but not in a bad way it's incredible and the opportunities and everything that are lying ahead I can't wait I bet. so tell us what your platform is as Miss Texas because y'all choose your own platform am I right we do okay yes so I actually want to teach high school math which is something I've wanted to do for a really long time I've always been that girl who loves school loves going to class and seeing my teachers so I found this initiative that was launched by Amazon called With Math I Can. So I tagged along with that and I formed a partnership with them and the women who work there. And it talks a lot about changing that mindset with students when it comes to math from fixed of I can't and I don't want to do math to I can and I will. And like I said, as a math teacher, there's nothing more important than that. Oh, that's awesome. And you're actually studying at Baylor, correct? I am, okay. yes. I just finished my sophomore year, so I'll end up taking one year off and then jumping right back into my junior year. Okay, so tell us what the last few months have been like since you won your title. Yes, I was crowned on July 2nd, and from there it's been pretty much nonstop. <laughs> with appearances and interviews and speaking opportunities, along with a lot of Miss America preparation. So working out, of course, for yes. that swimsuit competition right. in front of millions of people uh -huh. and practicing my talent, which is baton twirling. And that's something I've done since I was six years old. I've always loved and been so passionate about. So practicing that routine is always an exciting part of the day for me. Tell us what you're most looking forward to with the upcoming competition. Well, besides going to Atlantic City for the very first time, just getting to know the girls. I got a little glimpse of them actually in Washington, D.C. a couple weeks ago. We had Miss America orientation okay. where we got to meet them and get a little glimpse of what Miss America is going to be like. So again, I'm really looking forward to just seeing those girls. I've already made some great friends and everyone says you make friends for a lifetime. Oh, I'm sure. And tell us a little bit more about the competition and the different categories that y'all will compete at. Yes, okay, so interview being the number, everyone says you know you win it in the interview room because that is so important and it really will help with everything else afterwards. Like job interviews, I can walk in fearless because of Miss Texas and Miss America. So that's the big part of competition. And then another part that sets the Miss America organization apart is the talent portion. And mentioning before, baton twirling is something I've done my whole life, so I'm really looking forward to bringing that to the Miss America stage. And then along with that is fitness, onstage question, and evening gown. Evening gown. Yes, the most beautiful part. <laughs> oh, well, we're so excited for you. We're going to be watching and cheering you on, and we just wish you the best Thank of luck. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thanks, Candace. Caroline. Caroline will be competing for the Miss America crown on September 11th, and we'll all be pulling for her.